Hey, this is JamieXG5, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your own custom IP address. This is pretty simple. Um, it, by custom, I mean like instead of like a whole bunch of numbers and a couple colons and everything in there, it's just like minecraftgames.net or something similar to that. But anyway, first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website. It's called noip.com. Then there's a little dash in between them. But anyway, once you see this website, go to No IP Free and click Learn More. Put in your email address, and since I've already done that, I'm not going to do it again because it's pointless. But anyway, it will bring you to the screen that says, oh, put in your password and a name. You don't even have to put in a real one. And you don't have to put in your street address or anything like that. And when you're all done with that, uh, you will go to this download button here and click which operating system you're using. So this works on Windows. Mac and Linux or Unix. Anyway, click the download of which operating system you're using and then just let it finish. It's about 7 megabytes on a Mac, uh, presumably a bit less on Windows, but you never know. Anyway, uh, once that's all downloaded and everything, um, go to your email and authenticate it because it'll bring you an email that says, oh, you have to do this, and then just click authenticate. And then you should be able to log in. Once that's done, you go to your downloads and then you open up the DMG file on a Mac and I believe it's different on Windows and all of that. But anyway, when it's done, it'll have this little no IP like a DUC thing going on. Anyway, it will say your IP address and then everything like that and it'll say that it's idle as of right now and it has an update button. You can update as many times as you want. It won't really do anything. Anyway, go to Preferences, which is on the drop-down menu, and then go to Modify These Settings. So basically what that'll do is it'll bring you to uh, whatever settings you want to modify, which is your email address slash username, which basically uh, that's the first thing you see when you start it up the first time. Uh, anyway, just put it in your account and all of that stuff. And then go to Hosts. And then as you can see here, I have 2bitcinema.noip.org. And to do that, you're going to want to log in. Let me just do this. And then just log into their website. From there, you want to go to add a host and make a host name. So as you saw, I did 2 -bit cinema, And then just choose from these ones it says no IP free domain so you have to choose from these ones if you want it free but if you have the money it's 14 bucks a month and you can get it for about no for not 14 bucks a month 14 bucks a year but you can get it for about 10 a year so it's a pretty good price anyway um, so these are the enhanced ones which basically allow you to get them in shorter ones so as you can see here this is the no IP without a dash and it's US so that's good and then there's like the noip.org with the dash in it it's just uh, if you want it shorter it's gonna have to be you're gonna have to pay for it but anyway uh, you don't need to assign it to a group put in your name just keep it on DNS host a and everything should be good don't do the wild card and all of that stuff just leave it the way it is and then click create host so once you got that done, it will show you which ones you have on here. I have a zapto.org and a noip.org. I'm just going to remove the second one. But it will show you how many hosts you have. And back on your DUC application, normally it wouldn't show anything. You click the reload hosts button, and then it will. Uh, in order to actually enable it, you have to check off this little button here. And then it should be fine. So then you can just X out of that. Make sure the noip DUC uh, you can actually close that down now and close your Safari. But anyway, I'll show you that it works by going to my server, starting it up, and all of that, and all that good stuff. And I'll show you that it works. So you can see here it's still showing my normal IP address, but when I go onto my Minecraft, it will show it differently. So as you can see here, it says 2bitcinema.no-ip.org. So that's basically it. So all you have to do is just type it in. So there you go. That's basically how you make your own 
um, free version of a custom uh, name. So if you want an even more customized name, you're going to have to pay for it. But if you don't and you just wanted something that's easy to remember, that's the way to go. So this has been JimmyXG5, and I will see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you liked it, uh, click the like button and subscribe, and I will be doing videos like this every week. So there's always that to look forward to. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.